Hey guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. You know what, I'm getting a lot of great feedback and you know what else I'm getting? I'm getting questions, tons and tons of questions in the comments and even on Instagram. So today, I'm gonna answer. So one of my first questions um, is from Alex McCormick on my Instagram. She's referring to my Cabo vlog and she said, what is that stroller? And you guys, I got tons of questions about this stroller. It is the Baby Zen Yo-Yo Plus stroller. It has been a lifesaver for me. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna put the link down below in the description so that you guys can just click on it, go buy that stroller. I have one of those city jogger, big, clunky strollers, and I love it for just, you know, some local walks and stuff if I don't have to fold it up and take it with me. But, you know, the first two weeks I had my baby, I thought that was a great stroller, but I also had my husband around to help me with that stroller. Once he went back to work and I actually started to get in my car with the baby and go places, I realized that wasn't very practical for me. So I got the baby Zen. Um, it's awesome. You fold it right up and you can throw it over your shoulder and throw it into your trunk, throw it into the backseat of your car. I told everybody that I put it over my shoulder, took it into the airplane, and then we put it in the overhead compartment and it was a game changer. Next question is from, I think it's Jayem Dormier. What other language languages do you speak besides English? And she says, by the way, baby Ash is so cute and I love the sass. Thank you, thank you so much. I love both things too. Um, other languages, so I am half Korean, half Mexican. I speak Spanish for the most part. It's not perfect Spanish, but it definitely gets me by. Um, a long time ago, I was able to study in Spain while I was in college, and I really think that helped you know, just kind of like bump my Spanish up. I had a little Spanish boyfriend too, that, that might have helped a little bit as well. But I mostly speak Spanish as far as the second language. When it comes to Korean, which is what the other half of me is, um, I definitely do not speak Korean. And I really feel like I should, I wish I did. But when you're in a household where neither of your parents' first languages are the same, you tend to speak English um, in, the, in the household. Um, I grew up in a predominantly Latino neighborhood and, and just culture in general because I grew up in New Mexico and I feel like there's, you know, there's just a lot of, of Latinos there. Spanish was that second language that I kind of grew up around, but there was no Korean really in the household besides my grandma speaking it with my mom every once in a while. So Spanish, that's probably the only other language I speak. All right, next question is from here is Car, and that's K-A-U-R. I have a question regarding the jumperoo. Um, and I think she, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but it's by Baby Einstein. It's this jumper that I have Ash in. She wants to know, when did you start Ash on it and how long does he stay in it? And I've read so, so much good and bad stuff about those. Um, me too, I feel you. I decided to get this Baby Einstein one because I started noticing that Ash was not happy being on, in his playmat anymore. He was starting to get really bored being in his playmat. We'd move him to his swing. He didn't want to be there anymore. Um, and we just, you know, there are times when you just need to free up your arms. You can't just always hold the baby. Just make sure that their feet can be flat on the, on the floor. So I've heard that if they're constantly on their tiptoes, that's a problem. But if their feet are flat on the floor and they can just bounce, he loves it. I mean, he's just like, pow, pow, pow. He just kind of like goes to town on that thing. And it is so funny. I hear that you can only leave them in there or you should only leave them in there for about 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the day. So no more than an hour each day. Um, he doesn't even stay there that long. He stays there for 15, 20 minutes. He's done with it. We move on to the next activity, but it's been great. It's an eyesore. All baby stuff really tends to be the fun stuff for them, um, but it's a lifesaver. All right, next question is from Suni underscore P. And she says, can you send me a link for the formula that you have? Um, I talked about in my breastfeeding video that I use Hale, which is the formula that I give to my baby. Um, it's a European brand, so it's not too easy to find. You have to definitely order it. Um, I, go to, I get it from organicstart.com. Um, I've heard that there have been some changes and they can only sell to, to current clients, but I think if you just Google it, you'll start to find places. Um, I have a friend who's like, I have a source, you know? I have some friends like that too. So you can go that route too and just start asking people where they get it and you'll find it. Okay, so the last question is from Gianna.gram. She says, do you have a consolidated list of skincare and hair care that you used while pregnant? I'm gonna start to think about going off the pill. She's, she's wavering, she's wavering. Um, and try to get pregnant. And I know that there are so many natural products out there. I need to narrow it down from a trusted source. Well, thank you. Um, I used actually a ton of brands though, so I might, I might actually just get you all confused, but I did grab some of my favorites. I have a video that is my skincare 
um, that I loved while I was pregnant on the Mixed Makeup YouTube channel. But some of the brands, just to recap that, um, I, as you can see, I'm almost done with this. It's vitamin C serum. I used one from, uh, I used one from Drunk Elephant that is completely gone now. Um, and then I'm almost done with this one by Kaylin. Um, vitamin C is great when you're pregnant. It's one of the ingredients you can use. It helps with hyperpigmentation, helps with brightness of your skin. It's just a, it's a great product. It helps boost your SPF. Um, this is, Ren is another brand that I absolutely love, just in general. Um, and it, you know, this is their, their beauty shot, which is just basically hyaluronic acid to give you some more moisture. This is Global Baby. Um, it's by Lena Hansen. Lena Hansen has really, really great products. Um, you can check them out. I love this oil at night. This is a great brand. It's Nine Naturals. This is a wonderful brand when you are pregnant and when you're like me and you're, you're breastfeeding. Um, I love this belly butter. Um, it was great for my stomach. I did not get any stretch marks. They have a body wash that I love um, because you know I'm breastfeeding, so my, I know my, my baby's gonna put his mouth on parts of my body. And I don't want anything there that's gonna be gross for him, so Nine Naturals has great products. I mentioned this brand. It is Drunk Elephant. They have also great products. Not natural, then they don't claim to be natural. Um, they have some natural ingredients, but then also just the best. Um, ingredients in general is what they kind of call it and they are fragrance free and if you look up what makes products toxic a, lo a lot of the time it's the fragrance and so they are fragrance free you have to get used to it sometimes it doesn't smell like this beautiful aromatic experience but they're wonderful products uni this is their chillax which is for muscle gel recovery because I just started working out again and I need it. But they have also really wonderful products. It's all natural, this, these products, and there's just so much stuff if you're working out, um, if you go to the beach, anything like that. Uni has wonderful products that you should check out. And last, the face cream I've been using is Lux Me. Um, I just, I kind of like the scent. I don't think it's a toxic scent. <laughs> I have not looked that up. Um, I think it just has a beautiful scent. I love the way it feels. Um, they have a really great backstory if you look them up. And um, I, was, I was using their, main, their first product, I can't even think of the name, but it's like Balm. I was using it for everything while I was pregnant and now I've moved on to their Creme. So check this brand out, Luxme. It looks like L-X-M-I, but it's Luxme. All right, so those are the questions I answered for you guys. I wanna make this a regular segment here on my personal channel, so find me on Instagram. I try to answer back um, through DM, but Maybe I'll just go ahead and start picking out your questions and answering them right here. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon.